Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be experimenting with the effects of helium on the playing of a trumpet. I've never wanted to spend a lot of money on playing the flutes. This trumpet is worth nothing, but then I noticed something really interesting about the physical, uh, about the, 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 uh, the, 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 come to me words, words. I would of course use hot glue if I had any left, but I don't. He's just farted on me. Thank you, Ruben. Most people would have said, well, yeah, I didn't really have to think about that one to get the answer. These clips are brilliant. You lift them up and one of them uh, falls off. What is a good mouthpiece for an E-flat alto horn? One that fits. This instrument is designed for young children to be able to spit and spray bits of biscuit and cereal through it. I could drop this trombone from this height, as I'm about to do, and it doesn't care. Nor does that case. It has a whole bunch of ear leaks and it sounds like a piece of drain pipe. The way that you get the helium to come out is by sort of playing with this sort of sausage here. Whether it's branded as Uncle Joe's trumpets or whatever. I haven't played a Thayer valve trombone that has really tickled my pickle in the same manner. Yes, I drove over a trumpet. It is hard for me to continue the will to live when I try to play this particular section. I bought a cheap flugelhorn and I got what I paid for. It's raining outside unless you couldn't, if you couldn't tell. Kind of like what you might get if you got a baritone and a euphonium and they were in a car crash together. So if you've got some weird sort of oomphalopompatronium that needs a stand then hit them up and I'm sure they'll be able to discuss that with you. And HP stands for Harry Potter. Otherwise the sound of metal scraping on metal where you, when you unscrew this kind of sounds like the death agonies of a pterodactyl. I am simply a person with a dangerous amount of enthusiasm Enthusiasm. Don't buy this one. Uh, I believe it was started predominantly by singers with their inability to stay on pitch. Most things shouldn't be inhaled unless they're sort of air related. And uh, it is no longer white, it is dirty coloured. Oh yes. Returning back to the factual, no-nonsense style that people expect of me. Disclaimer, don't actually do that. And so I thought to myself, yes, that's what I need in my life. Uh, not that one would hold this for any length of time because the sound is just awful. In fact, that isn't even felt. That feels like belly button lint. I don't happen to know what the proper safety precautions are, but I do have my wife on speed dial. I'm actually going to use an old tea towel my wife doesn't know I've got. It played in such a way it was like kissing a dementor. <laughs> Whose name has a jazz scoop above it? I've no idea. Ooh. Frankly, I would be astounded if I do not wake up tomorrow with a dozen emails wanting of, from people wanting to buy this wonderful instrument. It makes a glorious sound when it is hit very, very hard. Oh, yes. And then I had a lot of people making fun of the way that I talk. And it sounds like pants. Today's video is both about a cornet and also has nothing to do with a cornet at all. If that league were to wear a particular shirt, it would have a big D on the front for disappointing, or perhaps dirty. Firstly, fits very nicely, there is no issue with the fit there, it, ah. It's like that glimpse of clarity a man has in a state of delirium. That glimpse of a beautiful woman at the end of a hard day's work. That glimpse of a pail of fresh water. It's a nice trombone. Thanks, Mr. Bazooty.